Happy Tuesday, June 29th. I'm the proud owner of a grandson. Uh, his name is Liam. He's beautiful. That's all I have to say about that for right now. Way to go, Katie and Dan. Uh, we got a few things we'd like to tell you. So, Pastor Don, why don't you kick us off? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Tom and his family and this new child in, in the family. That's great. Uh, yeah. And just uh, not a whole, whole lot of other um, things to, to mention. The, the rest will say a lot of things that are going on. A uh, couple weeks left with, uh, with you at Bethel. And I'm enjoying the time. And I hope you're enjoying getting together as much as, as I am on Sunday mornings and uh, having good response and good uh, good energy and good feelings. And uh, it's, it's just great to be worshiping together again. And so with a big weekend coming up, the 4th of July weekend, I want all of you to be careful as you're coming and going. There'll be a lot of people out traveling and a lot of people doing family gets get togethers and be safe and stay healthy and uh, plan on seeing you again next week. Some of you sooner on Sunday morning. So take good care. That's all. Thank you, Pastor Don. Patricia from the heat of yes. uh, Portland and Vancouver. Wow. Yes, we're surviving. It has been quite an adventure. We, uh, July 5th would be six months that Greg and I have been here. Uh -oh. We survived the blizzard. <laughs> now we're surviving <laughs> the heat. Um, so it has been quite an adventure. And for those that have been praying and stuff for us, thank you. Um, and um, I'm really excited because July 4th, obviously fun weekend, but you know, ministries can come back together now in person and just excited for all that happening again, where we can say, yes, you can meet. And um, just some, uh, just a reminder though, that to let Tom know so we can get, in, um, so we can get on the calendar and just make sure that we have, you know, nobody's colliding with each other and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just, uh, I'm just super excited about all that happening and um, getting back to some sense of normal and everything. And uh, I wasn't there last Sunday, but I heard it was wonderful of all the hugs going around and everything and miss you all. I'm hoping to be back there sometime soon because my daughter's having her baby at the end of July. And, uh, you know, I, I will make every effort. Greg and I will both hopefully be able to say hi to everybody at some point. So take care, happy 4th of July stay safe. Thank you, Patricia. Farah, I hear you have a letter to read for us. I do. Um, we've been uh, working on preparations for um, welcoming Pastor Ben and Kelly here in, in July, mid to the end of July. And um, there's a lot of logistics with that. But one wonderful thing is um, we did receive a, a letter today from Pastor Ben and it's two Bethel members and friends. So the group thought it was okay that I share that with all of you. So I'll just read this uh, letter from Pastor Ben. And it says, it is with great pleasure that I accept the call to serve as lead pastor at Bethel Lutheran Church. When I received word about the results of the vote from the congregational meeting, I was honored and thrilled. I look forward to our partnership together in sharing the love of Jesus with the community and doing life together. During our visit last week, Kelly and I reflected on the many wonderful people and ministries at Bethel. You are an awesome congregation with a bright future. It will be exciting to work together and follow the leading of the spirit. While we are still working out some logistics for moving, my first day as your pastor will be July 15th. There may be a short time of transition, which could entail some remote meetings or pre-recorded worship segments, but we will move to California as soon as we can. Thank you for your trust and faith in calling me as your pastor. Let us hold one another in prayer as we begin this journey together. Grace and peace, Pastor Ben Sandin. So that's really exciting. It's an honor that I get to read that to you today, but it's because I'm here and it came in the mail. So um, have a great week, everyone. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you, Farrah. That was awesome. Uh, and Marie, what do you have for us today? Um, no, so I just want to say a couple things. So I think as we're getting um, excited about um, Pastor Ben coming, you know, this is a time, again, of transition. And we've been through an interesting transition. So it's a time to, you know, um, remember where we've come and where we've come through. And we're gonna be honoring 
and thanking Pastor Don at his last um, Sunday with us on, on July um, uh, 11th. 11th. And, and then um, we'll be welcoming uh, Pastor Ben as he comes either virtually or in person <laughs> um, through the next couple of weeks. And so it's a time for us to kind of be looking at the past mm -hmm. and being in the present with everyone where, where we can be at church and or on video and just uh, be in that present um, of this transition and then looking towards the future as we build and go forward. And as we think of the future, one thing to remember is we will be having our next congregational meeting. So just to give you an idea, that's gonna be coming up. It's gonna be in September, which will give enough time for Pastor Ben to get here and get understanding and come up to speed on a lot of things uh, before we vote on our budget. And that would be September 12th on a Sunday. That's great. Thank you very much. That's super exciting. Um, Amanda, what do you have for us today? Thank you. Uh, yes, I say kind of the same thing that Minnie said here, that have a wonderful uh, weekend, a safe holiday, enjoy it. Um, and then also then the following week, which is July 10th, the following Saturday, actually, the day before it's Pastor Don's last Sunday, uh, we have our last and third uh, Kid Connection Treasures Saturday. And so I just encourage everyone to continue to pray for these families and for these kids. It's just been a wonderful time together. Um, and thank you uh, for also participating in the uh, Kid Connection Operation Kid to Kid Service Project Sweet Dream. A lot of words to say there, but thank you for helping us with that. And thank you uh, just for being a part of this with us. Awesome, thank you everybody. Um, I've got a few things, uh, we're doing a lot of facilities tune up things right now, a whole bunch of things to kind of make sure we can uh, receive you all well. It is great to have you on the front lawn with us for those of you who can make it. Um, but last week we had another 112 people that joined us on the campus on Sunday morning, which was super exciting. So uh, keep it up and look forward to seeing you there. I'm also gonna read you, you're gonna be wishing you were in high school. Here's our high school list uh, for the summer of things we're doing. And I'm just gonna read them really fast because you're gonna wanna Wish you were there. Uh, we're going to Golfland tomorrow night, Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, Picnic of the Sona, Float Down the American River, Great America, a post-COVID camp out, um, a kickoff for families to learn about uh, youth activities throughout the year, and then some goal setting that we're going to do at Shoreline Park. So if you've got people in high school, make sure that you pass this on. We're already communicating with as many that we know, but uh, pretty exciting to actually get back and do youth life together. So that's kind of what's going on. Uh, we hope you're doing well. Reach out to any of us if you have concerns, issues, um, needs. Um, please know that we're uh, praying for you and we're with you. So have a great week, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye.